Hi Cancer, this is Jess with your August 16th general read. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Cancer, um, someone feels like you need to see somebody. <laughs> you need to go sit down and talk to someone, maybe counselor. Yeah, uh, someone feels like you need some some type of mental help. And if you do, absolutely go and get you some help, most definitely. Communication, honesty, and people opening up definitely will be a challenge. But also, people keeping secrets from you is going to be a challenge. So how does that work? I don't know. You could tell me as the week goes on. Looks like for some of you, you, you are thinking about money heavily but this is also a time where you're getting a lot of things done getting everything taken care of home life looks really good looks very peaceful it's almost like i'm um you feel most happy at home doing the little things that you need to do that sort of thing i do feel like like i said communication research starting things initiating things will be a bit of a challenge because money everything or certain things that you need to move forward in it's going to cost you and that may be the last thing that you want to do is spend money maybe you've been spending a lot of money also want to let you guys know be very conscious and careful about your money you could be overspending at this time very easy to overspend at this time because you're it's kind of an emotional time for you guys but it's not like crazy emotional it's more internal so just be careful with your finances those of you who are employed i see a lot of going back and having to re 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 redo things unresolved issues at work here as well there could be someone um cancers who you know, there's opportunity at work to make more money as well. So if you're having any type of issues, those of you who are employed, definitely would be a great time for you to put in more hours. It's available to you now. I do see that. Um, those of you who are looking for work, very competitive time right now for those of you looking for work. But I see an opportunity. Congratulations for you cancers out there, especially cancers men. But it could be any one of you uh, who are looking for work, looking for an opportunity you will get it not just because but partly is because there's not a lot of competition out there i still don't understand what's going on fully um just hearing the news there's not a lot of competition out there so for some of you you could land the salary that you want the ideal position that you want definitely put yourself out there and now you'll just be it would just be a waiting game for your background check and all of those things but it looks like you're going to get it so congratulations those of you who are self-employed definitely with some disappointments in business and for some of you you're focusing more on family children love to some extent other things that's more emotional to you some of you may have lost someone my condolences so something about heartbreak pain or just having to put your business on hold for whatever reason is your focus right now business is not a focus right now you're taking a step back you may even close your business to some extent let me know in the comment section below if you have this coming week what's coming up ahead well great time cancers great time to vacation and to take a break, great time to take a break. That's what you need mentally. Because some of you are in heavy thought about your life, children, how much this is going to cost, what you need to do, what you want to be, where who you want to be with. And that is going to put you into, if you're not conscious, a little bit of depression, just a, a smidge of depression. So I would say great time to kind of take some time for yourself because and do nothing. Try not to do anything and do take those mental breaks when you need it. I feel like you guys aren't meditating enough, taking breaks where the TV's off, the phone is off. There's no babies. There's nothing but just you. There's no wife. There's no no one. There's just cancer tapping into cancer, whether it be late at night, first thing in the morning, you need time to yourself. If not, you're going to waste a lot of money trying to reconcile these emotions internally is what it looks like to me some of you feel and you're being a little too hard on yourself cancer it's very hard on yourself you're nitpicking your weight how you look all of those things so do be careful with that this you know and uh what's coming up for you you're going to abandon these emotions though you will some of you are thinking about or will be thinking about the, the things that didn't work out people people surrounding why things didn't work out um but you're gonna let those things go and start to get back to your happy 
and just when you do someone comes in but there's that we'll get to that in a minute um, just when you do start to focus back on yourself there could also be a fire sign woman for some of you cancer men that comes into your life and kind of is a game changer you cancer women i feel that just when you start to kind of feel like you got your mojo back is when somebody from your past comes in and you might be surprised of what will come after that Let's look and see, speaking of love, cancer single ladies and love is coming up for cancer single ladies. You've been single, single. For some of you, really single, just by yourself. You're tired of that. You're tired of being single. <laughs> you're tired of being single but you're but you're not gonna put yourself out there because you guys are just like i don't want the creeps i don't want someone being a creep and i'm not saying just women men too you guys don't want creepy people you don't want people that are very toxic these are ladies though you know you might put yourself out there a little bit it's like a process you're getting a little bit more and more comfortable with opening your heart um even though your heart still lingers for somebody from your past you may even have children with this person your heart does linger for a particular person still you thought that the two of you were going to grow old together and be foreverly happy but no now you're kind of out in that single rat race ladies and you hate it you don't like it um and that's probably why you're not putting yourself out there but boy oh boy when you get this mojo back you guys are getting ready to get your mojo back ladies mm-hmm Mm -hmm. And you may have one to two, maybe even three people who are interested in you. Somebody from your past, someone who's completely new, um, and someone who brought you into a third party situation like that situation may creep back up again is what it looks like to me. But I do see overall, even though you may entertain a past person, be careful. <laughs> I'm telling you now, be careful. You're going to be hurt again uh, because you're going to discover something that you didn't know before and ignorance happens to be bliss. Okay. Ignorance is bliss. So if you open that door, you're going to regret that you did. Um, let's look at new people coming in. New people coming in, I feel like you're going to feel like you have to struggle to have them open up and that'll become exhausting. But again, you are attracting fire sign men, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Uh, definitely a strong Aries. But some of you are... The thing about this man that's coming in ladies he could be a fire sign but he could be any sign he just will be very aggressive this is the type of man that is very um he will surprise you because he may come in one way but he is very committed i'm gonna read it for two of you two groups of you either this man is already committed <laughs> and you'll find that out really quickly or this is someone who may come across as a player but he really is you know hot a husband material so there is that cancer single men in love you're happy you're getting to know someone or you were you may have taken a break from that or cut the person out completely things did not go the way you expected you still want love heavy some of you want the person from your past you no longer are defensive and guarded Ooh, oh my goodness you love her and guess what she still loves you but she doesn't re she she loves you and you love her the difference is the the issue is somebody's mother is interfering here so some of you mama's boys could be creating problems in relationships because your mother is just problematic um or this woman has not forgot the third party that you put her into she feels devastated yeah she's dropped you like a bad habit and how do you feel with this other woman well the other woman that you may be getting to know this woman has issues with her own self-esteem to some extent and i feel like you're doing it for ego purposes you don't have any true intentions to make this work because you want this water sign woman cancer scorpio pisces she could be any sign but she's more like your energy emotionally available all the things right uh but she let you go and it kind of came out of nowhere you weren't prepared for it at least emotionally and now you're still stuck in that place is what it looks like to me men uh, so is there an opportunity to get to know another woman? Yes, it looks like some of you are, but it's just for your ego. And this woman already has self-esteem issues. So try not to add to that. I do see that, that being possible for those of you who are getting to know someone else. Couples. Let's get into the couples. Well, it looks like in the past, you guys... Ooh, okay. Well, there could have been outside parties in the past and your person was taking you for granted cancer. And to some extent, you were allowing it. Um, 
you just kind of either became numb to it or you didn't expect much out of this person in the past is what it looks like to me. Things kind of have changed between the two of you over time. Right now, some of you may have cut your person out. You're no longer um, communicating, but you do still love them and you guys want to reconcile. Yeah, you guys want to reconcile. There could be an outside person that's kind of interfering in this relationship. Mm -hmm. Some of you want to reconcile and work this relationship out. It could be for the children. It be, could be because you have children. It could be that you're working your relationship out and then an ex came and interfered in your relationship. An ex that someone has a child or children with. But you want to repair things with your person. There's very, a lot of con, this conflict here because someone isn't being the most honest. Someone isn't being the most um, transparent. Someone may be trying to get back to an ex or like I said, an outside person. But also claiming their love for their mate, which isn't true. Your person has been going crazy. <laughs> they go from going crazy to like not communicating, feeling like that's going to work. And then when that doesn't work, they just buckle and they want to apologize, even if it's not their fault. <laughs> Damn, Cancer, you got some control over them. Um, your person feels like they're not getting enough attention. And if you guys share anything, assets, money, you're married, anything like that, your person is secretly stashing things because they're not feeling fulfilled. So they may be in preparation of what's to come. Oh, but it looks like they want forever with you, Cancer. You know, um, what is this about? Let me see. Oh, your person secretly Cancer, and this could go vice versa, but your person is losing money. Okay. They may have uh, like a hole in their pocket, as they say. The money just runs right through them. Um, they also could be doing things secretly behind your back. And they probably got away with it. And before you found out, they let the situation go. They dropped it. They were done with it. They still could be talking to someone on the sidelines. Um, here's what it looks like to me. But it looks like your person has become very clear that you are the one for them and you are the person that they want. Okay. And it looks like the biggest issue, because it seems like that's what you want as well. Um, even though they may have been talking to someone on the sidelines or um, still dealing with unresolved issues with exes, with children and that sort of thing. It still looks like you got, you too, cancer want that too. Some of you, your mate, your husband, your spouse overworks or you overwork yourself and it's not even healthy to the level of overwork that they do. And it almost is, this man overworks himself to the bone for this woman. It's like he does whatever this woman wants him to do to give her a sense of peace and to give her a sense of um, making her dreams come true. So whatever this woman wants, whatever she's been desiring, he's doing everything he can to give it to her. Hopefully she appreciates that. I feel like because of it and it's so unequal, you're still in this place of lack together. And that's going to change. So whoever was the person that felt like, you know, I have a slave. <laughs> That's changing. <laughs> uh, be careful, I would say, because someone's ex could be coming in that is in a little bit more alignment with that person. And before you know it, there's a third party going on. Um big time. So that's what I have for you cancer couples. If you'd like to look deeper into this relationship, you are uh, welcome to click the link in the description box below. There you'll find all the details that we go over in the reading. You could also find the 2021 cancer yearly if you want to look at the rest of this year and the link to my website. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care cancer.